In this video, we're going to look at two equations, and we're going to attempt to find the values that work in both equations for x and y. As we graph lines, it's important to remember that equation y equals mx plus b, where we can use that to graph the equation by starting with the y-intercept, or the b from the equation. That's your starting point. And then also use the slope, or the m in the equation, to help us find the next point. Remember, slope is rise over run. So if we're given two equations, y equals negative two-thirds x plus three, and y equals two x minus five, we're asked to find the solution for x and y that makes not just one, but both of these equations a true equation. Well, if we remember y equals mx plus b as our guide to graph, we can see from the first equation, the starting point, always starting with b, is three. So I'll start at three with a point on the y-axis, always on the y-axis. Then the slope, m, tells me how to change. The slope is negative two-thirds. That means we're going to go down two and over three. Rise negative two, run three to get our second point. Connecting the dots, then, gives us the first line. We can do the same thing with the second line starting with the y-intercept, or the b, of negative five. Then I use the slope, the m, to rise over run. We need to make that a fraction, so we'll put the two over one. We're gonna rise two, run one. And when we connect these dots, we end up with this line. What we're looking for, what we're interested in, is the solutions to not just the blue line, not just the green line, but the solution to both lines, which occurs where both lines overlap. They overlap at three, comma, one. Write three, up one, is the solution to this equation. We're saying that x is equal to three, and y is equal to one, will make this equation, both equations, the system working together, true equations. Let's take a look at another example where we graph the equations in order to find the solutions. Here we have two x minus y equals negative four, and x plus y equals one. We like the equation to be in that y equals mx plus b form, where the y is alone. Notice these equations, the y is not alone, so we're gonna have to do some work to get there. So let's take the first equation, two x minus y equals negative four. We're gonna have to subtract two x from both sides, giving us negative y equals, these are not like terms, negative two x minus four and then divide each term by negative one, and we get y equals positive two x plus four. Now we're ready to graph. We always start at the y-intercept, the b, so we'll start the graph at four, and then we use the slope, the m, the part that's in front of the x, to change, and again, I need to make that into a fraction, so we'll put the two over one, which means we rise two and run one. Boy, that takes us off the graph, so let's go backwards. Go backwards two, backwards one. That'll work for us. And when we connect the dots, we end up with this graph. Now let's do the other equation. The other equation was x plus y equals one. We can quickly get the x alone here, I'm sorry, the y alone, by subtracting x from both sides to get in slope-intercept form where the y is alone, negative x plus one. 
again, we start at the y-intercept, so we start at the 1, and then we use the slope, the part in front of x, in order to change from that point, rise over run. Well, remember, that's negative 1x over 1, so we'll rise negative 1, run 1 to the next point, and connect those dots to get our graph. The solution is the x and the y, where they overlap. Backwards 1, up 2, negative 1, comma 2 is the solution to this system of equations.